You have some time to look at questions 1 to 7. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully to the first part of the conversation and answer questions 1 to 7. Hello? Hello, this is Hilary. I'm calling about the house. I'm moving in next week. Oh yes, Hilary. This is Judith. I met you when you came to look at the house. Yes. I just had a few more questions I wanted to ask. Of course. Well, first, about the rent. I realise I didn't check what it included. Yes, that's important. It includes most things. We don't have to pay extra for heating, for example, just for the telephone, which is fair enough, I suppose. Local taxes are part of the rent, so that's not a worry. That's fine. Then I remember I should have sent my letter of reference to the landlord by now, but I haven't got his address. Yes, you should get that off right away. Address it to Mr Crawley. He's at 14 King Street. Is that in Exford? Yes. And then you'll need to put the postcode, of course. It's AP12 mm -hmm. 7QT. Got that. Thanks. I also realise I don't know exactly what the house has in the way of equipment. Is there a microwave, for example? There isn't. None of us feels the need. Oh, fine. I'm sure I can do without one, too. What about a hairdryer? Maybe you should bring one, if you need one. I'll buy one, yes. And TV? Oh, yes. We've got two, in fact. Was there anything else? I just wondered if there were any rules. Not really. We share the cleaning, things like that. We do have to be careful about loud music. Yes. So we've agreed that there shouldn't be any loud music after nine and that we don't play music at all in the living room after ten. Up to eleven in your own room's OK, as long as it's not too noisy. That sounds good. And is there somewhere safe I can keep my bike? That's difficult. To be honest, Lots do get stolen round here. We haven't got a garage, so we tend to park ours in the garden so that they're hidden from the street. OK. Now, I hope you like cooking. Yes, I do. Do you all have shared meals? Not very often, actually. But when the weather's good in the summer, we like to have a barbecue together, which we do each Wednesday. We tend to go out at weekends. Sounds fun. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 8 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 8 to 10. Are you familiar with this area? A bit. Actually, there are a few things that I'd like to know the location of. A bank, for example. Yes, there's one quite close. You just go up to the junction near the house, the one where four roads meet, and go straight ahead and then take the second left. It's a little way down there on the left-hand side. That's convenient. Another thing is that I'd like to check my emails quite often. I was wondering how far away an internet cafe was. Well, there are a couple, actually, but one's much cheaper than the other. The one I use is very handy. You just go up to the big junction and then... Well, I go straight ahead and then turn right so that it's on the right-hand side. Fine. And one last thing. Uh-huh. I need to go to the post office quite often. I'm hoping there's one quite close to the house. You're in luck. You'd walk up to the big junction and then, if you want a nice route, take the street that's slightly to the right. Then you'd want the second left 
and you'd find it on the right side of the street. Well, it all sounds great. So, we'll see you in a couple of days' time? Yes. OK. Bye. Bye. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spar. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.